What is going on, world? What's up, everyone? It's Zero here. Today, I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the top left-hand corner of Dreamcatcher LE, playing with the red Zerg pieces. He's currently down 2 nothing. and is trying to get this series back in his favor. His name is Raynor. And his opponent in the cross position playing with the blue uh, Zerg pieces. He's currently up 2-0 and is on match point right here and right now. His name is Cyril. So guys, you guys can check out all of these previous games between these two players on the YouTube channel right now. This is the quarterfinals at the WCS in Valencia that was played. And the, these two players, guys, are two of the best with the Zerg pieces. Cyril, currently the best in the world of StarCraft 2. And I am extremely excited to see what happens in game number three here between these two players. Because let's just put it this way. Games one and two, Cyril really showed us why he's the best in the world. And now with game number three, I'm very interested to see what Cyril decides to do. Does he go for a little bit of some cheese or does he continue playing a very standard macro focused style? On the switch side of this, Raynor is down 0-2. And I'm wondering how he's going to play in uh, being down this big against the best player in all of StarCraft 2 right now. I'm very interested to say the least what Raynor decides to do in this game. Does he go for some cheese or does he decide to play a macro focus game as well? Things were switched up a little bit in game number two and I'm very interested to see if Raynor decides to switch it up once again here in game number three. Hatch Gas Pool is going to be coming out of both players here guys. You guys can check out that production tab and how similar it is for both of these players. Especially in the beginning of the game as you get further and further into the ZVZ matchup you'll see changes on that production tab depending on what each build order each player goes for but at least at this point in the game very standard by both players um, six zerglings on that production tab so very interesting here I'm wondering if our zerg player in red is going to get a little bit aggressive once again should be interesting to say the least um, I'm not I, I'm assuming he's not going to get super aggressive but stranger things have happened guys both players are getting that Zergling speed upgrade at this point as well. And these Zerglings are probably just going to see what kind of scouting information that they can get here. Um, speed upgrades coming up here. Uh, Cyril has kind of skipped out on that, at least at this point. These Zerglings are going to try to get a little bit of some scouting information. Beautiful wall off with the Zerglings here for Cyril to really... Um, uh, kind of, you know, n not allow Raynor to get any real critical amounts of scouting information. We got the Evolution Chamber coming up here, as well as the Roach Warren here for Cyril, as well as the Lair is going to be coming up here as well. Completely skipping out on the Zergling speed upgrade. Uh, very, very ballsy move by Cyril to go ahead and do that. But I, I, I shouldn't really question uh, this man. He is, uh, like I said... The, uh, the the current um, best player in the world at uh, StarCraft 2. He's going to get some of that uh, scouting information here. Sees there's no uh, layer going up quite yet. Uh, Evolution Chamber is going to be coming up here for Raynor. Probably going to start getting those plus one, plus one upgrades here very, very shortly. Yeah, but I think it, we're kind of setting ourselves up here, guys, for a standard macro focus game. So I, I'm really excited to see how this one's going to turn out here. How is Raynor going to uh, respond to this? Now, very interestingly enough, Raynor's is sending a couple of queens here. A little bit off uh, off a creep. Very interesting decision making there. Nonetheless, guys. These queens are going to try to get the uh, try to get the kill here on the uh, on, on that overlord and they do exactly that so so nicely done there these zerglings are still kind of roaming around the map trying to find any kind of scouting information that they can Cyril is playing this very very well and oh my god a nidus network i completely missed this one Cyril is going to get very aggressive right now there's going to be a two base all in or at least that's the look of it right now i completely missed the nidus network here guys and it looks like raynor is completely caught off guard once again this is here to do critical amounts of damage 
Raynor is completely caught with his pants down right here and right now. It looks like all of these roaches as well as queens are here to stay. They are going to try to get the kill on this natural base. They're doing so much damage right now. Cyril is here to do absolute crucial amounts of damage. Another Nidus Network at the third base location. And I don't know if there's anything that... that uh, Raynor can do at this point the uh, the main base location is absolutely done at this point and uh, the Nidus network is now going to transfer over to the third base location and is just going to try to get the kill on this third base absolutely huge crucial amounts of uh, damage here by uh, by Cyril he is getting so uh, much value now out of these uh, out of these units he's still droning up at this point on his side of the map so this isn't necessarily an all-in for him but uh, this is for so many units out of Raynor and the third base is just is 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 down absolutely down right now guys and the question is is how long is Raynor going to be able to hold on Cyril has just completely flipped the script on uh, on our uh, you know our red Zerg player here and now he's switching into the Spire so what it's doing guys is it's forcing a lot of units out of Raynor which he only has ground based units right now so uh, what this is going to do uh, completely at this point is it's going to force Raynor to now have to drone back up he's going to have to get back on his third base Spire's coming up now for Raynor very very uh, big uh, key pick up here for for Raynor he realizes the situation he's in he knows he's behind and so he decides to go ahead and uh and get that spire up because he probably has a good idea what uh Cyril is possibly thinking right now um he probably thinks okay he probably is going for the spire right now and Cyril's gonna have his spire out before uh before Raynor um, and the third base is now going up once again for for Raynor here, but this is just this is this is classic play by by Cyril. He is absolutely reading his opponent like a book. And you guys can see here the production tab is pretty similar even up to this point. There's a few differences. Seven of these mutilists are on the production tab right now guys and you can see from the supply count Cyril is well ahead right now he's got this third base up and running now and his economy is just going to be booming here very shortly uh Cyril once again is going to try to just pick off some more and more of these overlords I mean it's just you know overlord after overlord is going to go down and this third base is already going to be feeling the pressure. Uh, just, just, I mean, Cyril is just playing this so well. I mean, this is why he's the best in the world, guys, currently. I mean, it's not just his, it's not just his ZV, you know, P or a ZVT type of play. He's also very, his win rate is incredible, even with playing, going up against the Zerg uh, pieces. He's absolutely uh, incredible, guys. Going up against really any, any of the races in StarCraft 2. Now, smartly, um, Raynor should have, he does have a spore here, but it's kind of out of position a little bit. Um, so I would be a little bit concerned here uh, with, with the current positioning. And this third base is once again going to be under massive amounts of pressure here by Sarah. Sarah wants to end this game right here and right now. Now there are more and more mutas here for Raynor to kind of be there um, at the, the front hold. But I'm just wondering if there's just a little bit too many units here for Cyril. Cyril is just going all in here. He wants to end this game right here and right now. All of these queens here, they're getting the defuses. But there's just so many units here by Cyril. He's going to take out this third base location here. He's going to go into the natural base location, try to get some more kills on all of these drones, and Cyril is everywhere right now. He is everywhere. The third base is down. All of these drones are getting absolutely massacred at the second base location, and once these mutas come over and kind of help out, I mean, it's going to be, uh, it's just going to be the absolute decimation 
that Cyril is uh, that is that Cyril's doing right now is just crazy. Now there's so many mutilists out here for Raynor right now, which is great uh, on uh, for him. But the third base got killed again, guys, and Cyril is just sitting here happily mining on th on three bases. He's got his Hydra den out. He's going to be getting, of course, uh, you know, more and more of these uh, spore crawlers out. And a lot of queens are out right now. The diffuses are coming in. Just getting so much value out of his units. The spore crawlers. And then, there, once again, Cyril decides to go ahead and take out, pick away at his opponent uh, while uh, all of those mutas were, at home, were, were away. Just, I mean, this is just textbook, guys. Like I said, you really want to take these, if you want to go by a build order, and when it comes to the Zerg pieces, look no further than Cyril. I mean, this guy is just playing textbook play here. And, uh, I mean, as this game, the longer this game goes, the farther ahead uh, Cyril's going to be. Raynor, his units are just getting de decimated at this point. Now, uh, Raynor did find all of these uh, mutas, and that's a big pickup right there for for Raynor. That was really big for him. But if you look at the army composition here, all that Raynor really has right now is these mutas. If he loses these mutas, um, I mean, it is game over. And these these hydras are going to get some quick kills there on uh, on some of these uh, mutalisks. But the mutas just, uh, it, it's one of those things, guys. They, they are easily countered uh, with queens and hydras. So I'm wondering, you know, to say the least, how much longer is Sarah or is Raynor going to be able to hold on here? These hydras are moving across the map here. I think Sarah is to a point where he wants to end the game right here and right now. And uh, he's getting so ballsy here. Uh, he's moving all of his hydras out, out onto the map. And uh, th these mutas are, are just, they're, they're just not even going to be ready necessarily. I mean, they're just not, um, they're, they're, there's a lot of them, but there's just not enough here. Um, and, and this Roach Warren is going to be taking a lot of heat right now. And a lot of those uh, mutas as well are going to be taking some heat as well. Looks like uh, we've got once again another, another Nidus Worm here, guys. And the whole army is coming across the map. Cyril says he wants to end the game right here and right now. He wants to win 3 nothing in this best of five series. He is showing us why he is the best in the world. GG is forced by Raynor. And Cyril, guys, wins this quarterfinal three games to nothing. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Cyril and Raynor. And if you guys did, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Stay positive. And as always, I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.